Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for you guys. Well, I wouldn't say little, but I also wouldn't say it's a huge haul, but I do have quite a few things here because I use shopping as a code mechanism and so I have quite a few things here. Um, I just, I like to buy things when I'm sad and so this is what we end up with. So yeah, I have like a mini PR slash shopping haul here. Um, I will tell you guys what was PR and why I bought myself. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. I only really have like three brands here. I have like e.l.f., ColourPop, and Pixi. I'm gonna start with e.l.f. because I feel like it's the most boring. So we'll start with that. I did pick up some of the new e.l.f. Jelly Pop skincare that they came out with a couple weeks ago. And I will say I have, I used the cleanser once, broke out horribly from the cleanser after one use. Like I literally had so much acne. I had like a whole cluster of acne spots like right there after using it. Um, so I used it once. I'm not gonna use it again because I'm just, I don't need to deal with all that stress in my life. <laughs> just all that acne, like I just don't wanna deal with it. So um, I'm not gonna be using this. I'm gonna give it to my sister or my stepmom, somebody that will maybe like it and not break out with it. Um, so yeah, I'm really disappointed because it smells amazing. It's like watermelon scented. Even without it breaking me out, I didn't love it because while I was using it to cleanse my skin, I didn't feel like it actually like was cleansing my skin. I feel like it was doing like the surface layer, but not like anything actually like deep in my skin. It was just kind of like, I don't know. I didn't feel like it was bubbling enough. I didn't feel like it was actually cleansing my skin. I just felt like it was kind of there and it wasn't the best. It is pretty cheap though, so maybe that's why, but I don't know. The e.l.f. Jelly Pop cleanser wasn't really for me, so I'm gonna give it to a friend or family member, but uh, yeah, I just wanna tell you guys that, but I did pick it up, try it out. Not my favorite. I also got the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Water Gel Moisturizer. I tried this the same night I tried the cleanser. And I have tried it one more time since using that cleanser just to make sure it was the cleanser that broke me out and not this. Um, this did not break me out. This was fine. But I don't love it. Again, it has like that watermelon scent. I just feel like it wasn't super moisturizing. I like my moisturizers to be like moisturizing, like super hydrating. Like without a doubt, you are like moist when you wear it, you know? You know what's funny? I hate the word moist, but I can say it and not be like creeped out by it but when someone else says it that's when I'm like so yeah fun fact so I can say moist all I want to but when someone else says it I'm like ooh, random little tidbit there but yeah I just feel like this wasn't hydrating enough the smells like okay but I have other moisturizers I love more and just the elf jelly pop cleanser and moisturizer were not worth it for me so if you were thinking about buying it I would pass on it because even though it is inexpensive I just I feel like it wasn't great even without the breaking me out situation you know however i did get another skincare product from elf this is the elf keep your balance hydrating toner i've used this a handful of times since i got it a week and a half ago i want to say i don't know why i'm smelling this but it does smell like a clean perfume you know how some perfumes smell like really like perfumey like just really perfumey this smells like if you had a perfume that smelled like clean you know it's so hard to explain but i like this toner a lot i don't know if i like it more than the toner i already have but it's cheaper or is it cheaper? It might be around the same price as the toner I already have, but either way, I do like this toner. I'm gonna keep using it. I do feel like it does clean my skin and it's not too drying. It is their hydrating toner. Um, so yeah, I've been liking the toner. So of the three skincare products I got from e.l.f., the toner is definitely a must buy in my opinion. It's actually really, really nice. Of course, I haven't used it for like an excessive long time, but it's it's been a pretty good week and a half with it, I will say. Okay, this is the last thing I actually bought from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've had so many of you guys recommend this primer to me. It's absolutely insane. And for the longest time, I just didn't want to buy it because I had my Touch and Soul Primer. I wasn't interested in trying a new primer out. But when buying all the e.l.f. skincare, I was like, you know what? I should just go ahead and buy the primer, test it out, see if I like it or not. And oh my god, it's so good. It's very, very similar to my Touch and Soul Primer. I don't know if it beats it, but it's similar enough to where I can see myself repurchasing this and not that one because that one's like $10 more than this one. Um, so yeah, I've been loving it. As you can see, I have definitely, you know, dug a little bit into it. It's only been like a week and a half since I started using it, so haven't dug too much into it, but yeah, I've been loving it. I have it on as a primer today. It makes my makeup look really good. Um, I have heard this is a dupe for the Tatcha Silk Canvas. I have never tried that primer because it's like $55 or something like that, and I just can't swing that for a primer. I just can't. The Elf one is really, really nice. And if you were looking for an alternative, I do think this is a good one. Even though I haven't tried the Tatcha one, I feel like you'll be happy with this and you don't need to go buy the Tatcha one. You feel? I do have three more things from Elf. Anytime you order off the Elf's website, they let you pick like three free samples. It's not like anything on the site. They make you pick from a list, but some of the stuff's pretty good. I actually haven't tested out any of the free stuff I got. Uh, this first thing I have here is a baked trio eyeshadow called Brown Bonzana. Bonzana? I don't know how to say that. I remember trying e.l.f. Baked Shadows like a long time ago, like in high school, but I haven't tried it since then. Swatch it, see what we get from it. 
Here are the swatches of the Brown Bonza Trio. Really, really pretty, really pretty like shimmer shades. I think that dark brown's supposed to be a matte, but it's not too rich and pigmented. But the two shimmers are actually really, really pretty. So I am happy I got that for free. It's nice to try out. I do want to try that on my eyes because I think it's really pretty. And then I also got this metallic liquid shadow in the shade Rose Gold. What I will say, look at that. Look at that separation. Um, that makes me nervous to use it. Like I haven't even opened this box up yet, guys. So I'm kind of confused on how it already looks like that, you know? I'm guessing it's probably older and that's why it was free. I'm going to swatch it anyways for y'all just so we can see how it looks. I've never tried a liquid shadow from e.l.f. Looks pretty crusty, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, there it is. Uh, not the most like, oh, wow, oh my god, it's kind of just like, oh, like it's there. It's kind of cute. I think they definitely sent me an old one though because this shit's crusty. Like, it's like hard to even like get out and swatch. Yeah, I don't feel safe putting that on my eyeballs. Probably not gonna use that. I also got these e.l.f. eyelashes. These are the Wiley Hong uh, Luxe Lash Kit. I don't remember e.l.f. and Wiley collabing. The lashes look pretty cute. They are like pretty like natural, I would say. Um, I'll probably try these out on like a day where I'm having more like a natural makeup. I wouldn't want to do like a full crazy cut crease with these kind of lashes, you know? But they are kind of cute. I've never tried e.l.f. eyelashes before either. Okay, so that was everything from e.l.f. Um, I don't know if I want to do Pixie or ColourPop next. I'll do... Let's do Pixie real quick, just because there's less of Pixie stuff. Uh, Pixie did send this to me in PR, so thank you so much, Pixie, for that. Um, they sent it to my old address, though, and the person that lives there still was holding a hostage, but we won't talk about that. So I did get this package a lot later than other influencers. I remember seeing another influencer's page and being like, oh, I didn't get that. I wonder if I was like kicked off their PR list, or if they just didn't send it to me, because they don't send me every single new launch, mainly just the skincare stuff they send me, which is fine i'm happy with anything honestly maybe they kicked me off their list whatever and then i heard that the person lives my old place had my package i'm like oh all right i see how it is but anyways they sent me this jar of some vitamin c skincare there's five different things in here i have tried a couple of these already um, the pixie vitamin c juice cleanser i have tried what i will say is i prefer more like balm cleansers like this jar cosmetics lay away uh make moving balm the liquid ones, like, they're okay and they work. I just like a balm. I feel like a balm really breaks down the makeup and, like, penetrates my skin deeper than the, like, liquidy cleansers. So I do think they're nice. And I do like this cleanser for days where, like, I didn't wear makeup and I'm too lazy to do my skincare routine. I just want to, like, cleanse my face really quickly before I go to bed. Um, this is actually nice for, like, those kind of days. Not that I have those often because I usually wear makeup every single day but I've had like two days the past like week where I haven't worn makeup at all and I was too lazy to do my whole skincare routine so I did just like cleanse my skin really quickly at night with this and you know it was nice I will say this entire jar smells like a lemon's asshole it's just it's like very very citrusy which I kind of love because I love my lemons and oranges and limes but at the same time it's like it's a lot but yeah we have this cleanser the cleanser's nice but I don't love it for like taking up a full face and makeup, you know? There's also this vitamin C toner. I haven't tried this out yet, but I've heard so many good things about the Pixi uh, Glow Tonic. I haven't tried that. I know it seems like I'm somebody that would have by now and like use it all the time, but I haven't tried it. I do want to pick it up though. Every time I go to Target and see the Pixi skincare stuff, I'm like, ooh, I should pick it up, but then I never do. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely want to try the Glow Tonic. And I'm interested to try this vitamin C tonic. Vitamin C makes me nervous with skincare because I've heard it's not a very stable ingredient in skincare. So I am nervous to just put a bunch of vitamin C around my face. Um, but, you know, I'll test it out, like, slowly. That's why I haven't tried a lot of this stuff. Because, for one, I've been trying out the e.l.f. stuff. And I just don't like using a ton of skincare all at once. Especially not skincare I've heard isn't the best for you to use all the time. I don't know. I could be wrong. It's also this Pixi Vitamin C Caviar Balm. I think I have used this. No, I haven't. It's still on. I used something else in the jar. This is like a leave-on mask. I do want to try this. Maybe I'll try it tonight. I think I'll try this mask tonight because why not? Um, so yeah, they sent me a mask, which is awesome. I have so many pixie masks, guys. It's ridiculous. Their masks are so freaking good. Sheet mask or like a put-on mask with like your hands. So good. All of them, so good. I think they really do wonders for your skin. This is the product I've tried, the vitamin C lotion. This is basically just a brightening moisturizer. I tried this the other morning. Again, just lemon's asshole, man. 
I did like it. It's not the most moisturizing moisturizer, but it's pretty hydrating, you know? Like I said, vitamin C is something I wouldn't want to use every single day just because I've heard it's not the best. If you guys know anything about vitamin C, like more than I do, let me know down below. But I've heard it's not like great to use every single day. Um, so I do like this. I feel like on days where I feel like my skin's looking dull, maybe I'll use it more often. For the one time I tried it, it was pretty good. The last thing in this jar is the vitamin C serum. This is a brightening uh, serum. I did use this this morning and I used it the other morning. It's nice, again, very, very, ooh, very, very citrusy. This one smells more like an orange than a lemon. I don't know if there's like a huge difference in those smells, but it does smell more orangey than lemony. Um, I liked it. It was really like hydrating, you know, for a serum. But I don't know. I'm just like nervous to use vitamin C as an everyday thing. Skincare experts, let me know down below your thoughts on that. But, uh, you know, I'm going to slowly but surely test this stuff out. Like I said, thank you, Pixie, for sending me this stuff. This is amazing. I love getting skincare, and I love not how you pay for it. Okay, last but not least, the big box of ColourPop stuff here. ColourPop was having a sale on a bunch of their Super Shock shadows and they released a couple new things. So I did pick up a bunch of stuff uh, based around that sale. They were having like a 40% off sale on their Super Shock items. Right now that sale is currently closed, but they do have a 40% off sale going right now with their lip products. Um, so I would definitely check that out. I think I'm gonna pass on that sale right now because I own so many lip products, especially from ColourPop, that I just don't have the need to go like rush to that sale, you know? But if you're wanting to try ColourPop lip products, I'd recommend them, they're all pretty good. All right, let's dive in. I don't know what I wanna touch first. Um, okay, the first thing I have here is a Super Shock Shadow in the shade Prickly Pear. I am 12 years old and I think that name is fucking hilarious. This is the shadow I am wearing on my eyes as a shimmer right now. It is such a pretty like smoky, bronze, pinky shimmer. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love the way it looks. I think colors like this look so pretty on blue green eyes. It really makes them pop, which is why I really wanted to buy this. I saw it swatch on their Instagram and I was like, I need that. I need that on my eyeballs right now. So yeah, I'm really happy I took advantage of that sale and bought the Super Shock Shadow. What I will say with a lot of these Super Shocks I did buy, they're all very neutral everyday colors because I was looking through my collection and I noticed all the Super Shocks I currently own, well, before I bought all these, were like blues and hot oranges and purples and dark black. Just really like bold colors and i was like i don't have any like neutral super shocks maybe that's why i don't wear them a ton because i do like the super shock formula but i don't wear it a ton because i feel like the colors i do own are colors i don't wear a ton so i was really happy to buy some more like neutral shades and be able to use super shocks more often so yeah here's the shade prickly pear it's on my eyes right now beautiful color i'd recommend it if you have blue green eyes because these colors just make your eyes pop that's the only like random super shock I got that wasn't in a kit of some sort. I also did pick up the Kathleen Lights Times ColourPop Where the Light Is Super Shock Shadow uh, Quad. This is an older collab of theirs and I never thought I was gonna buy it because at the time I just really didn't use super shock, it wasn't my thing. But I've always wanted this shade in particular, the shade Kathleen Light. It's a really pretty gold, it is so freaking stunning. There is a swatch, so buttery, so reflective, so just beautiful, such like a me shade, honestly. I've always wanted this shade. I've always thought it was so freaking pretty, but you can only buy it in the quad. And with the sale, the quad was only like 11-ish dollars. So I was like, you know what? The other colors in here are pretty too. So I'll go ahead and buy the quad. So yeah, I got the shade Kathleen Lights that you see right there swatched. I also have the shade Cornelius. This is like a matte taupey brown. I do have it in my crease today. Really, really pretty. I will say it's kind of harder to work with the matte Super Shock shadows. I kind of just use this on top of another color I used in the uh, Dream Street palette, but it is pretty and I feel like it added a really nice, like cool tone vibe to my eyes that I'm living for right now. And I also have this shade right here called Blaze. This color, I don't know why, but any shimmer like this always reminds me of like a snake. I feel like if a snake was gonna wear makeup for the day, they would definitely wear a color like this. I don't know how to explain that. I don't know why my mind goes there, but anytime I see like a dark shimmering gold with like a bunch of brown in it, I always think, oh, a snake would wear that color. I don't, I don't know why I think these things in my head. I just do. And the last color in the kit is the shade of glow. It's just like a nice like matte white. I, I did use this color on my brow bone today, but I went over top of it with a shimmer color, the um, Mooney in the Dream Street palette. I went over top of it with that. So all these colors are super, super pretty and I like them. And I think in the quad together, they do pair really nicely because you can create a look with all four shades. I just dropped this. Please don't mind me. I'll probably use the shade Glow the least because it's a matte white and I have those in most palettes. I do think the quad is really cute though. I'm glad I finally got my hands on it. I feel like that was something I just was bound to buy eventually because I buy all of Kathleen's collabs with ColourPop. Let's just get real. Moving on to like some of their new stuff. I did pick up some of the Halo Top Times ColourPop 
Super Shock shadows. There was four different duos. I got the birthday cake duo and the strawberry duo because I feel like these colors I would more likely wear than the other ones. Plus these are like two of my favorite flavors of ice cream. Fun fact, I love my birthday cake ice cream and I love strawberry ice cream so much. We're gonna swatch the strawberry one first. I low-key want to keep this packaging because I feel like it's just so freaking cute. I know it's literal garbage and like you should throw away your garbage but it's just too cute to throw away, you know? And I love that these Super Shocks have like their own unique design. So freaking cute, ah. First one I have here is the shade Berry Sweet. It's like a gold with like a strong pink undertone. I was watching That Girl Shay's video where she was live swatching these and this color looks so stunning on her eyes. I was like, yep, I need it immediately. There's a shade Berry Sweet, literally so pretty. Again, it has that pinky undertone that's so pretty on blue green eyes. So, so I was so excited to buy it because I knew it would probably look really pretty on me, you know. Not to flatter myself here, but. And then next up I have the shade Jam Out. This is like a pinky berry toned red. Right there, super pretty. I do like my red tones, you know, for like a pop of color. So I was excited to get that in that kit. I only wanted the um, Berry Sweet shade but you had to buy them in kits unfortunately so i ended up getting both but you know what i'm kind of glad i have this color because it is really pretty i'm just gonna put these back together in their cardboard packaging i don't i know i should throw it away but it's just so freaking cute it's like a collector's thing these are limited edition by the way they were still available when i checked the site last but that was yesterday so they might be sold out by now if they are i'm sorry next up i have the birthday cake trio birthday cake ice cream is literally so good birthday cake cake the best that fun betty pillsbury stuff oh divine the first shade i have here is called extra sprinkles it's just a cute freaking name ColourPop is always getting me the packaging and the names i swear there's a shade extra sprinkles that really light gold really pretty again i wanted more like wearable shades when i picked up some of these super shocks so that's why they're all like bronzy warm toned or like neutral of some wavelength wavelength the next shade I have here is By The Pound. This is more of like a pinky, I think it's one of like their tie-dye colors. There's a shade By The Pound, more like a corally kind of pink, really pretty, especially for summer. Put these back in here. Please tell me I'm not the only one that likes to keep cute packaging like this. I will eventually throw it away like months from now, but I don't know, I like keeping just cute packaging. It makes me feel special. Okay, that's all the Super Shocks I did buy with the sale, but I mean, I have a whole hand swatch for the super shock so i do feel like all the shades i bought are shades i would wear so i'm pretty happy with my purchases i also picked up two of these just a tint lip crayons there was quite a few shades they launched with but i only wanted these two they're the ones that like spoke to me the most i got the shades chimichanga which by the way that name adorable and also the shade gimme s'more i will say i was swatching some of this stuff off camera when i first got it in the mail and gimme s'more did uh go through it she's a little damaged but she still works you know so we're gonna appreciate her i bought gimme s'more because i thought it'd be like a really cute everyday you know tint for work and school and things like that so there's the shade gimme s'more really cute these do smell like mango-y or guava-y or papaya-y like that kind of scent these have that and it's literally so divine I'm such a fruit person i love my fruit and i got the shade chimichanga because y'all know i like my bold orangey red juicy colors and i just thought that was so pretty again i was watching that girl shay xo's video of her swatching these and this color looks so stunning on her i was like you know what add to cart i need it she could get me to buy literally dog shit and the very last item i have in this entire haul and for my color pop haul is the soul body shimmering dry oil this is color pop's new like sister brand but it's pretty much color pop just with different brand name i don't know i I don't really understand that. They also have 43 Beauty, which is like their skincare sister brand. ColourPop just doesn't sleep and they just need more brands to make more things, I feel. So here is a shimmering body oil. I got it in the shade Soft Gold. I read that Warm Gold has the most shimmer in it and I read that after I already bought this one. <laughs> so I might go ahead and buy another one, but I do have so many shimmering body oils already that I don't know if I need another. I love the glass packaging list. I know Kathleen Lights was complaining about the glass packaging in her review video but I like glass packaging. I know it breaks easier, but I feel like it's more like luxurious and heavier and just feels nicer. And also I feel like, I don't know if it was her or somebody else that was complaining about the pump in this. They'd rather it be a spray. I like the pump. I feel like a pump's more like manageable. There is the shade Soft Gold. Yeah, I did a big ass swatch for y'all. So there it is, it's so pretty. If you guys wanna see like a standalone review video with this or anything else, uh, let me know down below. I feel like I wanna review this in a standalone video with my other body oils this is only like 15 dollars i think and it's just like 
so stunning. Well, I'll lather my entire body in it. And I will say also, I love that it doesn't have that typical like vanilla -y scent that all body oils I feel like do have. Not that I don't like that because I love vanilla, but this scent is like different. It almost smells like, like perfumey, but not in a bad way, like a good perfume. I don't know, it's so hard to explain. I don't know what the scent of it's supposed to be, but in my head it smells like a really bomb perfume that isn't like too old lady or too like hookery. It's like just the right amount, you know? All right guys, that was actually it for my entire shopping slash PR haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know so I can make all my purchases more at once rather than scattered. I like haul videos, they're really interesting to watch. I just don't have the budget to be constantly doing them you know like i just you know this was a lot of money that i uh, spent here but yeah thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye guys